Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. I woke up really late today. Um, have to run to the grocery store to pick up some coffee creamer, especially since it's cold outside. It's like I kind of need a warm drink in the morning. But after I run to the grocery store, I'm gonna come back here, make some coffee, and then try to go to the gym before my SEO meeting. For those who aren't familiar with SEO, it's the mentorship program where I'm mentoring a student in the New York City area. So today's the actual day that I get a chance to, I guess you could say e-meet, virtually meet the person that I'm mentoring. So I'm really excited about that. Also, this is my first time vlogging on the Sony a7S III. <laughs> did not have enough time to go work out so I just got in a shower and got dressed because my mentorship program is starting now so I'm excited to get a chance to meet my mentee the lighting's been pretty weird in here because the Sun keeps popping in and out of the clouds so I apologize if it looks a bit oversaturated or a little bit too orange for some of these frames. But I know some of you all have been asking me about the hoodie that I was rocking in my last video. This is the Yeezy Gap hoodie. You can actually get it on StockX for resale, not that much more than retail. So if you've been thinking about getting it, this is a really nice hoodie. Not only can you always resell it when you're tired of it, but it's heavyweight, perfect for the winters if you're on the East Coast or in the Midwest. It also lays really nice on your shoulders. It just makes you look really good. It's honestly the perfect comfort hoodie for fall, winter. Just got done meeting with my mentee for the first time and it's great being a mentor, being able to give back and it was cool learning more about him. We have a lot of similarities. He loves basketball and YouTube so we spent a lot of time talking about YouTube and basketball, his favorite player, LeBron. So he's a Lakers fan. And Brown was my favorite player at one point in time, obviously being from Cleveland. Also, he has programming experience and he's just now starting junior year. These high schoolers are really evolving. Like they already have programming experience junior year in high school. It's crazy. I knew nothing about programming at that point in time, but I really look forward to building a relationship with him. I recently picked up the Yeezy Cream 700s. These are the Yeezy 700 V2s. I've been eyeing these for a while. I actually traded my Thunder Force for them at this vintage store called My Cousin Vintage Klee. That's the Instagram handle. So if you're ever in the area, you gotta check them out. They have a lot of heat. They also gave me a discount for moving to New York City, which I thought was dope. So just wanna show support to them. All right, today is Sunday and I'm trying to decide what exactly I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna go over to my family's for dinner. Lee's hanging out with some of her friends today around six, but I definitely need to do some packing and I need to start working on this next video that I'm really excited about that I'm planning on releasing either later on this week or the week after. The one thing that sucks about being a sneakerhead is when you move, you have to take all your sneakers and their boxes otherwise you lose so much value when you don't have the box it just feels like the sneakers less legit i don't know that's kind of silly but it just kind of is what it is i'm trying to decide if i'm going to play basketball today around three the browns already played this week so technically i don't have any games that i necessarily need to watch so i really do want to hoop i think that will be a nice little basketball session especially since this will be like my last one with one of my friends who invited me Working remotely for one year and seven months nearly two years so it's going to take some getting used to being hybrid starting next week i first want to say that i'm incredibly grateful to have had the opportunity to work 
remotely, it's been a major blessing. I definitely think Lee and I grew closer experiencing our first year of marriage, sharing 860 square feet together. As an extrovert, it's gotten more difficult being remote, especially since I live in a pretty boring city. There's not a lot going on here. There aren't really any co-working spaces. There are a solid amount of coffee shops near me, which has been nice. But other than that, in terms of changing my work environment, I haven't really had the opportunity to do that. I actually do like the idea of working remote, especially as a content creator. It makes making content so much easier since I'm not spending so much time commuting. I'm excited to get back into the office so I can see my coworkers in person. Also, it was kind of tough starting a job remotely because I still don't feel like I know most of my teammates that well. However, I think the most ideal situation will be the ability to come into office opposed to two or three set days a week to come in. I basically prefer working hybrid, but more time at home than in office. Personally think that as a developer, you definitely don't need to be in office to be successful. I think that's a very traditional and old way of thinking, especially in the tech industry. I found that I've had a much healthier work-life balance without dealing with commuting. And I know people have mentioned that they enjoy not dealing with office politics. So we did choose an apartment. We are moving to Hoboken. I'm really excited because to be honest with you, if we weren't gonna move to New York City, we figured Hoboken would be the next best option. If you aren't familiar with Hoboken, you can think of it as a suburb of New York City. That's what some people call it. I wouldn't really call it a suburb though. It's very much city-like, similar to New York City, just not as crazy. We live about three miles away from Midtown, so if we took the ferry, it would take about 10 minutes to get to Midtown, and then we take the path it takes like 20 or less to get to Manhattan. I can't mention it enough how excited I am about having the opportunity to move to the New York City area. I feel like I'm going to experience so much growth that I wouldn't have been able to experience being at home. So this is the last week in my hometown. Been doing a lot of reflection. I mean, I did go away to college, so this isn't super unfamiliar territory. I went to school it was in Ohio, but basically like West Virginia, three and a half hours away. And I didn't come home that much. So that really helped me grow and experience being away from home, away from family. But this is different because it's a permanent move. And I'm really excited to see what God has in store for Lee and I. And I'm just really grateful for this experience. I, I can't say it enough. I'm really excited. Like, you know, I was sad, of course. I'm gonna miss family and friends. But then I got this thought, dude, you're moving to New York City or New York City area. That is incredible. That's something I've been trying to do for like four years. So now I'm really just excited more than anything else. So that concludes this video. Be sure to comment down below. I just like hearing from you all and engaging with you, replying to comments. I really do enjoy it because this is a community and I care about you all a lot. And I really appreciate for you all caring about me and being a part of this really exciting journey. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. I will see you all soon. Peace.